Hey everybody, just out here in the Long Island Sound, fishing a brand new spot. I was terrified coming out here, but the sun is just starting to come up and I'm in a safer zone now. But yeah, new spot, no idea what to expect. I think I found some nice boulders. None of this was marked on Navionics, I just found the inclines and drop-offs and there's a shoal nearby that has some pretty steep inclines to be just found it to be really interesting so I'm gonna experiment today I might not catch anything wow nice I think I'm on a striper right now oh no I snagged a striper shoot that's not good. Yeah, snagged a striper. Damn, sorry, buddy. First time coming into your neighborhood and I snagged you. Oh, he's all right. I got him in a decent spot. Whew, no skunk. Well, nah, you don't count, but good to know there's fish around. I'm starting to mark them now, too. The striper swiped at it and didn't commit. That means he wasn't really feeling it. So I'm gonna switch to green. Green with that rod looks very nice aesthetically, I must say. Nice. Yeah, that was the move. Just hooked up. Yeah, it's like a little teeny striper. But if they're not committing and they're swiping at it, probably not using the right bait. So they weren't touching the... And these guys are little, little, little teeny, teeny, teeny guys. But uh, those are the ones teeth you got to watch out for. I want to bet these are all resident stripers of this area. They're kind of doing that summer pattern where I bet you they'll be done feeding in like the next... Bet the, so it's 6.20 a.m. right now. I bet you these guys will be done feeding in the next 30 minutes. Right at like 7. Well, this is fun. New spot, and I caught my first fish here. Striper, always a good sign, a little schooly. Nice. Feels like another schoolie. Yeah, he's racing to me. Oh, a little bigger. Definitely a little bigger. That's a nice fish. Pretty happy with this. Hey, Budo. Budo. Bucko. I'm so tired. Oh, wow, nice. This is a nice fish. It's a nice schoolie. That's what's up. <laughs> it's awesome. New spot and we're catching fish. Those little guys got really sharp teeth. Gotta be careful touching them. The big ones are fine, but those little guys got really sharp little teeth that don't have much like stability to them. They pop out and stay in your fingers. I think I'm gonna catch like one or two more of these and then go try a couple more spots. I don't wanna catch a bunch of schoolies. I think these are all schoolies. But one thing that I've found to be totally true with all sizes of striped bass, if they are on a reef structure, this isn't to be said about points. Points, they'll be staged on different sides. But I noticed with the stripers, if you're on like a submerged reef structure or rocks, hey buddy, I'm trying to talk here. If you're on like a reef structure, 
Um, so like in this case, the current, there's a reef like right here and a bunch of boulders that are submerged at like 11 feet and then a hill on the other side. And the current is coming at me right now. It's pushing me back this way. So if this is the reef right here and the current's coming this way, the fish are gonna be stacked on the inside of it, not on the outside of it. And I think the reason for that is they'll sit there where they have the least amount of current to deal with and pounce up on the bait fish as it starts to come in against the current. A lot of times the bait fish will go against the current and filter feed, especially the bunker. And I think for the striper, it's easier for them to have uh, an advantage point on the inside of the current of the reef structure. So all they have to do is wait for the bait to roll through and pounce up on it. Uh, a couple years ago, I used to think they were always on this side. And I, it's kind of true with all fish species on reefs, like they'll start to restage on the inside pocket of whatever way the current is running. But I don't know, just like a pattern that I've found to hold true with all reef structures.